Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. As of the time this video is made, the free shops on tinfoil are no longer working. Even if they come back, chances are they won't stay up for long. But now, there's a new alternative free shop, and this one works through the DBI app. So, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. All right, the first thing we need to prepare is, of course, the DBI app itself. For this tutorial, you'll need the latest version of DBI. Unfortunately, the latest version is currently only available in Russian. But don't worry, I'll walk you through every step and show you exactly which menus to choose, and I'll also include screenshots with translated English labels so you know what you're selecting. To download the latest version of DBI, first, go to this website. Before we can download anything, we need to create an account here since we'll need it later. Don't worry, it's free and simple, and you don't even need an email address. If you want to support the project, you can also donate to the developer, but that's completely optional. All right, to create an account, click here. Then click on Don't have an account. Enter your desired username and password, and click Register. Once you're logged in, that means your account is ready. Now let's download DBI. To do that, click here. This is where the download link is. Click on Latest Version, and the file will start downloading. Next, we need to download two additional files from this page. Even though the page says they're optional, in some cases DBI won't connect to the server unless these two files are present. So go ahead and download them. If the files don't download properly, like what happened to me, you can just create them manually using Notepad. Just highlight all the text, copy it, open Notepad, and paste. Before saving the file, go to the very bottom line and type in the username and password you created earlier, following the format shown here. Then click Save As, and make sure to change Save As Type to All Files. Name the file dbi.config. Do the same thing for the dbi.locations file. Once all the files are ready, extract the compressed dbi.ru file. Then combine all the files into a single folder. You'll probably see a dbi.config file already there. Just replace it with the one you created manually. All done. Now we're going to copy these files to the switch's SD card. First, connect the SD card to your computer. You can do this by inserting it directly using the USB tools in Hecate or using apps like FTPD or USB file transfer. Any method is fine, as long as your computer can access the SD card. In this case, I'll use the USB file transfer app because it's faster and simpler. All right, once your SD card is detected on your computer, open it right away. Then go to the switch folder and look for the DBI folder. This is the old version of DBI that's already on your Switch. If you still want to use it later, feel free to back it up by copying it to your PC. Now let's copy the new version of DBI along with all the supporting files into this folder. Make sure to overwrite everything. That's it. Now we're done here, and it's time to switch back to the console. Okay, back on the switch. Don't forget to reinsert your SD card if you removed it earlier. First, make sure your switch is connected to the internet. Then open the album to launch the homebrew menu and run DBI. As you can see here, the DBI interface is in Russian, 
Here's a translated version of the menu so you know what each option means. If you entered your username and password correctly in the dbi.config file earlier, you should see a menu called Not Ultra NX. If it doesn't appear, you'll need to enter the server info manually. To do that, scroll down and select the menu with the three dots at the end. Then enter the following link and make sure to use your own username and password. After that, press the plus button. If you see this message pop up, that means your account is now successfully connected to DBI. Next, press the home button to go back to the home screen, then launch DBI again. This time, the Not Ultra NX menu should show up. Now select Not Ultra NX. This will bring up a list of game categories you can browse. You can see the translated category names here. I'm going to choose option number two. Now we see the list of available games. Go ahead and pick one. I'll choose this one, for example. To continue with the download, just select it. Some games have more than one file, like the base game and an update. For example, in this game, you can download each file one by one by selecting them individually. But if you want to download them all at once, you can mark them first by pressing X. Press X again to select the next file, and so on. Once you've marked everything you want, press A. On this screen, you'll see some options. First is the installation location. You can install to NAND, the SD card, or the last option, which I honestly don't know what it means. As for the other options below, you can read their translations on the screen. The bottom most menu option is to start the installation process. Once you choose that, just wait until it finishes. Now in this video, I won't be continuing the installation process because I don't play non-legit games. And honestly, you shouldn't either. But hey, that's totally up to you. All right, that wraps up this tutorial. I hope this guide helped you set up and use the new free shop through DBI on your Switch. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tutorials like this. Got any questions or ran into issues? Just drop a comment below and I'll try to help you out as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.